Runk. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, I want to talk to you about AdamandEve.com, okay? You know we're sex positive here over at Lifeline and uh, the Super Cult Studios. But with, look, it's a lot of bad, bad news out there about prices these days. It's oh. nice to know that Adam and Eve is still offering the best deal. Uh, still. Yes. AdamandEve.com. Go there and get 50% off, plus, free, as if that's not <laughs> enough, dude, free shipping. Free shipping and yeah. 50% off. That's 50% crazy. off. An adventurous new toy, okay? A slippery lube or almost anything else you desire. It could be over. a slippery lube. It could be anything else. Right, yeah. So our podcast listeners will get 50% off almost every item. Just use code Lifeline at checkout and you'll get 50% off and free shipping. It doesn't matter what you choose. All will be packaged and sent discreetly for free. You know, we're sex positive, but we get it. It's sensitive. And maybe you don't want the box to say Adam and Eve. It doesn't. It's super discreet. Not only we yeah. save money on gas, mm -hmm. movies, and date night dinners out, yeah. but this is the item that will continue to save you money, deliver tons of fun and satisfaction yeah. are you, nonstop on call. Yeah. It's like, are you, uh, are you romantic or not? Yeah. Yeah, you are. So go to adamandeve.com so yeah. uh, and select any one item. Use code LIFELINE. That's L-I-F-E-L-I-N-E. -E. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast. So be sure to support our show. That's how you support our show. You go on there and you use the code LIFELINE to get you not just the 50% off, but also the 100% free shipping. Code LIFELINE. Go to adamandeve.com right now. Right now. Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. Hello? 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 We're rolling, guys. Okay. okay. On ecstasy. Did we start? Do I start? I got something to talk about at the top. No, no, no. no. Yes, I do. We, but we talk about honestly, it's it's not necessarily like I have oh you do about. the rules and you set the pace. I have we do to it talk organically, about. baby. I have and something it's to talk good. about. Okay, are we going? Are we going? Did we start? Yeah, it started. Dude. Okay, well, Bill, Bill O'Reilly. Bill well, relax. We'll do it live. Uh, so last episode we made a mistake, and a mistake. Not that me. We, yeah, you actually I did. You're right. So when you asked yes. me is is you you did breathe in breathe out the bush thing, yeah. Yeah, and then I, I said, and then I said, I did machine machine head? Yeah, and I happened. said they're different songs. I know, and they're not different songs. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Got a machine head. It's better than the rest. Green do red. To, honestly, machine head. That's, Got a machine head. No. Look, it's look, better look, look, than look. the rest. Dude, Green do red. We need people to. Yeah, we need. We need retention. Yeah. We need retention. All right, now I'm sweating. Well, yeah, dude. You can't start off like that. It was that. part of my apology exhausted. tour. It was my apology <laughs> tour, dude. No, look. I already knew the facts behind that, but I don't... I, well, why I, didn't you say it when I got I, it wrong? You know why, dude? Because I don't care, dude. I don't care much. You don't care about the facts? This is an advice no, show. No, I care about the facts, but I know the facts. Okay. So it's like people can think what they want, man. There's also two sides to every story. You know what I mean? I want to clear it up for Gavin Rossdale. Whoops, we interrupted me, but it's fine, dude. For the band Bush and Bush fans alike. Yeah. All right. So look, man, um, things have been going crazy well for me and uh, it's fine. Right. And so, so I don't know, like my nose feels good. I can kind of breathe a little bit more, breathe in, breathe out. And uh, I used to, when I would clog this one. Yeah. I'd almost pass out if I did it for too long. And now I do it. I have a hard time. Can you hear it? Oh, I, I'm going to die if I do it. If I don't move my thumb. You pass out, you think? <laughs> and then you pass out oh, and then I just God. do the rest of it and it's basically congratulations so listen dude um, we sing too much on this podcast disagree alright you don't think we sing enough I want to turn it into a, to a, an a advice musical slash, the first musical podcast advice, <laughs> <laughs> advice slash singing podcast I'm gonna be in Dallas do da do da I'm gonna be in Dallas August 26th yeah like that and I'm gonna be in Wichita August 27th <laughs> then I'm gonna be in Atlanta and Washington D.C. and Stockton Cali <laughs> and then Oakland Peoria Illinois Rockford Illinois Raleigh and Savannah Georgia 
Denver and Cheyenne, Boston twice, because people from Boston love your boy. <laughs> Dude, so go to Crystalia.com and get all those tickets. Also, I'll be in Albany and uh, Lakeland, Florida, even though that's a place that's made up and doesn't exist. Yep. And then Jacksonville, why, for some reason. But I'm going to be there. And uh, and that's that, dude. Mm-hmm. And I'll be hitting all the fucking cities and everyone keeps saying, no, dude, you're not going to come to Chicago. You're not going to come to New York. And I got a question for you. Do you understand how time works? Yeah. Because it keeps going. Yeah. And I could keep going places. You think I'm only going to do a 17 city so- uh, tour? <laughs> No, dude. Not me. You're not going to only do a seven. Dude, I do 70 cities and shit. What do they say? I find new cities that hard. I find colonies I perform in that just fucking got created and shit. Oh, okay. Well, what do they say when they say, why aren't you playing in New York? Do they just say that? They go, come on, man. Do I really have to travel to fucking? And it's like, dude, just, no. Just wait. Dude, people go, uh, people are <laughs> like, oh, man, I got tickets for Dallas. And now I just found out you're going to be in Albany. I was going to fly to Dallas and see you. And it's like, just wait. Yeah. Because time. Time. Wait, somebody was going to live in New York was going to no, find No, no, no. This is an example. But yes, oh, that does happen. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, that does okay. happen. Yes, okay. yes. Yes, okay. that does happen. Yes. Okay. Bring yes, it does happen. Bring it on. Bring it on. Um, so this is Lifeline, the fucking critically acclaimed podcast. Um, yeah. And uh, we have not submitted it for any awards, oh, but we're not going coming to. Up, though, but we're not going we might, to, though. We might sweep. We're better than that, dude. We don't um, compete, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, look, take a moment if you like the podcast, subscribe to Super Cult Studios. Yeah. Subscribe because we've got this, we've got congratulations, and we've got more fucking podcasts coming out. And mm-hmm. subscribe and hit that bell notification no- no- thing, you know what I mean, baby? Sounds good. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, dude. Um, anyway, we're having a good time, and uh, how's it been going with you? Oh, uh, good. Taking too long to answer, <laughs> so... <laughs> A fucking Barbara Walters on a bad day. Like you know? it's fucking, what's it called? Uh, James Lipton. You asked me a question. I was fucking thinking about it. Okay. Good. And the answer is, Trudeau. I've been, That's what I've been having, I've been having a mixed week. And the reason I've been having a mixed week is it's because, because it started Monday, then it went to Thursday and then it became Tuesday. <laughs> no. Uh, Dad Everyone joke. was flipping out about me singing on the last episode. Loving it. Thinking it was great. Mistaking me for Kiedis. No. But as I already said, I so went to on to miss, miss, uh, mistake the bush thing right and i felt terrible about that and so i wanted to address it at the top of the show and sing it because everybody loves when i sing they don't though no they do we'll do a poll everyone write in tell me how much you love it when i sing how about this dude if you don't like it tell me and we'll see we'll add, we'll, we'll add up the two. how about this since you're already done subscribing to super cult studios how about this in the comments who's a better singer and who would you rather like hearing sing that's good and I we'll mean, tally them up and at the end you'll do great. the dude a day shit and i'll do the fucking you know? The day shit? Got a machine hand. I don't like it. Was better than the rest. Getting poked in the butt <laughs> by a fucking, a really, really large fucking object. Well. So, uh, I don't know, dude. You know, I drove here and it's all good and my nose feels good and I feel fucking excited about that. Now, man. when you said you drove here. Yeah. Obviously, you drove here. You drive everywhere. You drive here every time. Why'd you, why'd you even say it? Why'd you even say it? I just, I just, you know, it was like dead space, but instead I said I drove here. <laughs> okay. Well, how have, you, how have you been? How's your week going? It's going well, man. My nose is good. And I fucking slept. I didn't sleep well last night, dude. I kept waking up every fucking hour and a half. I got this new CBD shit that I'm going to try. No the, THC. So many fucking letters. The last 10, the NAACP sent me 12 some days, the last 10, 12 days, I haven't slept at all last night i finally got some sleep and it's because one up to me i took some fucking thc slash cbd so many letters got it from, from the, the NAACP, NAACP and it gave me HIV. and the spcc and then i played my ps5 and i'm um, come from the pac slash making one it up zero now. SEC. It up now. all right dude uh, yeah. enough of it <clears throat> so look uh you did do cbd uh i do it all but I did do it. Did last you rub night. it in your face, or what do you do? They, do you well, get the craziest? Of, yes, oh yes, it does, dude. Dude, you can do CBD in any. It's crazy. Like they're like, would you like a tincture, or would you like to take it in pill form, or would oh, you like right, to put okay. it up your anus, or would you like to rub it? We have face lotion. They'll be like, we have a CBD shirt. If you'd like to wear it, you'll be very calm the whole day. I do the CBD with the weed because I want to get high, but I also the CBD really helps me sleep. Uh oh, uh oh, problems. No, it's all good. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. But what, what the fuck? Drug addict, okay. and it's all got good, too close to me. Yeah, that was you a almost gift lost I your fingers. No. Yep. So, uh, well, let's get into it, dude. All right. 
I, you know what I keep thinking about is the guy who died in the middle. Yeah, you of love the guy thing. that died. Oh my god, yeah. dude! Last episode when the guy died in the middle of his thing and came back to life. Also, loved it. Elijah Wood, this guy. In this Ooh, thing. dude, what is this? Hold on, is this a couple in a TV show? What the fuck? Why? Because it's a mixed race. Because it's white, a white and a black guy. You walk around, you don't see mixed couples. They're, but well, then that's you turn on not- fucking. F- True. Oh, you mixed walk couples, around, you don't see mixed couples, dude. Mixed oh, couples in exist in the world a lot. I, I know they do, dude. But so what in you LA, saying? they fucking should be a plenty, right? Because it's LA and we're a melting pot. But you go to Fort Wayne, Indiana, it's only whites together and then some blacks together. Dude, if you walk around LA, there's not enough mixed couples. But you turn on the TV, dude. Yeah. If you fucking turn on the TV and it goes to a commercial break, oh my God, six commercials? You'd think that it wasn't allowed to keep race pure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know, okay, I know. Okay, but, okay. okay. You're saying things that are not good. Well, the race pure, this is not a good yes. thing to, to say. I, I don't think, I just, I, I know everyone pretty soon is going to be tan and it's fine. Not pretty soon. We're talking like 300 million years. You know what I mean? That's, I don't think so. I think it could be probably 50 to 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody living now is by the time they're dead, they're all going to be the same color? No, my, my point is, <clears throat> am I watching Peacock? The thing, the thing about, mixed race couples is that they really do exist i know they do the reason they're in this is the thing i I don't like though people get all up in arms about like oh that's not uh, really how reality is what commercial is basing itself in fucking reality dude Uh, they're trying to sell products to as many fucking people as possible yeah but no dude they do base themselves on reality dude they do they'll be in a kitchen and like the dad will be like "Uh uh-oh and then a mom will come in and she'll be like that's already unrealistic. Like Kleenex. That's already unrealistic. And you're supposed to believe that some fucking family in just Fort Wayne, Indiana, it, like an Asian guy is going to be dating a black chick? It, it just, find me one in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Dude. Why are you basing, why, why does it Tide. have to be in Fort Wayne, Indiana? Not every commercial takes place in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Because that's who's buying Tide, dude. I buy Tide. Not in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Have you ever dated a black chick? Yeah. Yeah. How, 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 what's the percentage of what of black the girls that dated I've, versus of, the interracial girls never done the math on it and guess what if i did it would be very fucking strange <laughs> <laughs> that would be very fucking strange. <laughs> you well, know? I, I actually know this because i yeah, yeah. Uh, all right cool so let's turn on anyway turn on turn on peacock <laughs> dude hit, hit hit on cbs this is on a tired commercial hey chris hey matt Elijah, uh, justin and brandy bill were here uh, first of all, love your podcast. We appreciate it. Uh, baby okay. since day one. Hell Paul yeah, Kevin, dude. Cold, all that. Uh, <laughs> so we got some uh, They're advice a baby. that we need from you guys. So They got baby uh, socks right there. We watch shows on streaming services, Netflix, stuff like that. And she has a problem with me watching shows without her. And from my point of view, <sighs> like she either falls asleep watching them or just never has time. So I'm right. sitting here on my day to day, like not doing anything. So I just go ahead and watch them <clears throat> unless she specifically says that, hey, I want to watch this particular show with you. Yeah. So I, I, I don't watch that one, which there's only one that she said that. But other than that, everything's free game, including Lifeline, including congratulations. She's so not having it. Is that the way wrong she's looking me? over, she dude. to think so. She's like, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. No. All right. Appreciate it. Love y'all. Well, I think you I think more couples this. should be interracial. You honestly. experienced this. Um, so why don't you take it first? Oh, yeah, dude. But I have a simple solution, but you go first. No, you go first. I think that... Didn't even really have, want to go first. Have these guys ever heard With the quickness, <laughs> you took it. You said, you go first. I said, no, you go first. You were already taking your breath to speak yeah. with the quickness, so you weren't even really being polite, even though it was under the guise of being no, polite, and no, that's no, who no, my no, brother no, is, no, and I want you to no, know no, that. No, 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 So the deal is, has this guy ever heard of a Man. cell phone? What do you mean? he could just text her first and say, hey, honey, I want to watch <laughs> this show. Is it going to bother you if I do that? So he's so he's talking about starting a new show? No. He's talking about in the middle of a show. You start a show together. We don't know. We don't know. It, it seemed like you said you start a show together and then in the middle, he wants to watch some episodes and she's like, well, you can't watch it without me. That seems like what's been happening. Am I wrong here? Am I- what you always do on the show is you assume things people said and then answer that as if they said the thing that you said instead of the thing that they actually said. Is that a listening problem or is that just a regular problem? Well, this that is, I have with you. This is an entertainment podcast, so I guess in a way I'd say you're welcome. Oh, okay. We'd well. bypass all that and I'd let you know you're welcome, dude. Nice way to spin that around. Anyway, go ahead and give your advice. What? He said, Yeah. They start watching stuff and she'll fall asleep. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. he wants to keep watching. Right. And then yep. she gets mad that. Gotcha. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. So I was right. If okay, I'm, cool. If I'll I'm catch him, you later. I say, Okay. Dude, that was fucking. 
the who, police. Oh, oh yeah, fucking really? They, they were, they were you, wondering. You got a hold of them so fast. The, the fucking truth police called me. I know it's crazy. <clears throat> so, um, but when somebody pulled a gun on us and you tried calling 911 and they put you on hold forever? I don't remember calling 911. Yeah, we were in the car. Remember, I was going reverse I, I on the freeway. I remember it happened. I, I don't remember calling on the freeway. Don't talk over me when I say that. I was going reverse on the freeway. Remember that? And you were trying to call 911? <laughs> and all I kept thinking is if this motherfucker shoots and, and, and hits my brother, my life's over. I'm probably going to kill myself. Shoots and hits my brother. You can just say shoots With my the brother. bullet. Yeah. Dude, he, it was very weird. Before we get into this, dude, from a very beautiful mixed race couple, and I think there should be more mixed race couples, right? Okay. Um, and I'm from a mixed race uh thing because i'm italian and she comes from like french european descent or some shit and uh, uh Kristen, what do you mean mom we're talking about mom me you don't come from mixed race i'm saying no, have i'm a from partner. a mixed race i have a mixed race relationship you're in a mixed race relationship. yeah because Kristen is i'm italian and i know Kristen is not italian i don't work like that but keep going she's from north carolina so um <laughs> so <laughs> so this so what was i saying oh yeah <clears throat> yeah the guy pulled a gun yeah because you sped up he cut you off or something you sped up and you go yeah Yep, you did one of those too. You do it Going like that. Up. Yeah, I don't like the bitch ass ones when they do yeah, like they that. Yeah, they do this. Like this, this is not strong. Yeah, this like is strong. this is strong, dude. A whopping. <sighs> yeah. Gross, actually. Okay. And um, <clears throat> and so so the guy sped up and pulled a gun out and started waving it around. He did. And I said, "Hey, just slow down." And he slowed down right. To stop us. Yeah, we he stopped, stopped, stopped right in front of us. On the fucking Because I was unwilling to go around him because bullets. Yeah. Yeah. And so he, so I was like, well, just reverse. And I was very calm. Dude, I. You were calm. Right. I was. My blood pressure, I drop it, dude. Because I was already thinking about the potential guilt of a bullet hitting you. I get it. But I don't okay. flash forward. I stay in the moment. Okay. And I look and I assess, you know, because you can't assess if you're like, uh-oh, if you're thinking about it, my brother might end up dead. It's true. I don't do that, dude. I was not in good assessment There's a mode. scene in one of the Pierce Brosnan and James Bond movies where he's just on a gurney and he has to act like he his pulse stops. Uh -huh. And so he puts himself into a coma. And so they're like, he's dead. Get him out of here. And then he gets out and, and they fucking put him in a body bag. And that's how he escapes because they thought he died because he put his pulse into a coma. The worst writing of all time. Well, bro. Just <laughs> making shit up, you know? How can he get out of this one? How about he stops his own pulse? <laughs> and I, I don't remember who I was watching this with, but whoever I was watching this with, they said like, you know, you can actually do oh, that. Oh, it's probably Uncle Mike. I was going to say that, dude. It probably was, dude. And so, um, so anyway, I was like, oh, you can? And so that was probably what I was trying to do when the guy pulled the gun on us. You were- I Imagine remember. that happened and I was just like, calm down, calm down. And I did. <laughs> and then the guy goes by- <laughs> It just shoots me while I'm in a coma. But do you remember how badass the thing that I ultimately did was? He stopped. Mm -hmm. I stopped. Cars were whizzing by, whizzing by, whizzing by. It's in the middle of a day on a Tuesday. We had just voted. Remember that? We voted for Obama. Thank you very much. I don't remember that. And uh, I don't remember he I was reversing for. with his gun, waving it around. And I just went. And I floored it and went around his ass, zero to 60 in fucking no time. And then I, he was on my ass. He was on our ass. And then I pretended to stay on the 134. Uh -huh. And at the very last second, right before the divider, I to the five. Uh -huh. So he had to stay on the 134. Okay. Well, I'm Liam Neeson. Okay. Well, my pulse was more like Liam Neeson's. But Your yeah. pulse was, but yeah. I was so, in the world more like Liam Neeson. So, yeah. Okay. All right. I don't, I don't know. What if my brother dies. I was, I was, I had nightmares about that shit. I know you really, really you affected getting you. getting killed. Yeah. Yeah. It was fucked up. All right. So look, I was, I think, look, uh, what, what, don't like he has, you're not always together in a relationship. So that means that if she falls asleep and then the next day you go somewhere to work or whatever the fuck you do, hey girl, catch up. You fell asleep catch up to where he is and then that night you got a fucking show to watch again yeah but she wants to watch it with him i get i know that. i get but, that but but so 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 he's got to be what watching the show and then making sure when she sleeps you can't do that you watch a boardwalk empire you're invested dude put a you're fucking, invested what's not you gonna do on. next put on the show she doesn't want to see but you don't know when she sleeps is what i'm saying you're invested with what fucking nucky johnson or whatever his name is is doing Okay, not Nucky Johnson, but okay. And then fucking, and then what Nucky Few Buck is doing, and then you're watching, and then she falls asleep, but you're invested, dude. You're yeah. watching Ozarks, and you're like, is he going to make it out alive? Ozarks! Who are you, fucking Grandma Carmella, just adding an S? You're watching fucking, you know? Jim, uh, you're watching fucking- Boardwalk Empires? Breaking Bads? 
Boy Meets Worlds. <laughs> you're watching Boy the Meets Worlds. The Wonder Uses? The Wonder Uses. And, uh, and so you're watching it and then fucking, you're watching, you're your, your hell bent, you're in the middle of fucking season three of Lucifer's and then fucking she, you don't know when she falls and asleep. on that, but. Because uh, but you, you don't know. Dude. Yeah. Okay. So the thing is though, we want to make sure they have a happy existence together, right? Yeah. So maybe he could look over sometimes if this is common, right? Maybe he could learn about some other fucking shows he's and ask ma- her he's making, shows she doesn't care about then, and he can watch those fucking shows when she fucking falls asleep. Then he's making her issue, which is falling asleep too it's soon. It's not just falling asleep. She's also at work and he wants to watch shit. Well, that, no, but okay. Okay. So right? if there's actual things that she needs to be doing, then I think that he should wait for her. Yes. If it's just Chris, bro, bro, Kristen, my, my, because I'm in, 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 in a racial, I'm in an interracial. And she's, she's, so she's from, white. I know, I know, You're she's, white. I know. I, I have an Italian descent, right? And she is like, I think French or something. Both white. Whatever it is. But she, so <laughs> Calvin is mixed race, right? So, but like. He sure looks like it. So, so I identify with this couple is what I'm saying. Yeah. I think a lot of people do. Yeah. No, but because we're both interracial, right? Oh, so, oh, oh, okay, okay. So busted a nut. So, oh, um, oh, oh, okay. So what I think is. Kristen, mm-hmm. now this is Sadeeper, but Kristen will Sadeeper. be like, let's, w- I'll be like, let's watch a new show. She'd be like, great, dude. Mm-hmm. I turn on fucking Nucky Johnson or some Nucky fucking- Nucky Thompson. Whatever it is, dude, right? I know it was based on a real person, okay? Yeah. I'm smart. Okay. And so, I, 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 so I'm watching the fucking boardwalk, boardwalk Empire, right? And I'm looking at it and we're watching an episode. The episode ends. Mm-hmm. It's fucking gangbusters, right? I yeah. love Boardwalk Empire. Okay, uh-huh. I'm one over. of those guys that's like, why isn't it fucking considered in with The Sopranos? So in good. with Breaking Bad. I agree. It's the right? first time we've ever agreed about a show. Yeah, why is it not yeah. in with the fucking Breaking Bad, <clears throat> Sopranos, fucking Ozark? It's legendary uh, show. Uh, Boy Meets World. Why is it not Mad in Man, these fucking- Mad Men. Mad, 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 Mad Men, there Mad we go. Man. I didn't like that, but you know what I mean. People do. Mad Men is boring as shit. It's fine. Okay, go on, on a tangent. Keep going. Right, but it is boring as shit. Nope. And everyone just liked that show because of the fucking haircuts and the fucking style that it- No. Well, and then why did I like it? Not for those reasons. Did, we ever, did you ever consider that? Yes, I did. Okay, and what did you think? Because secretly you do like it. It pisses of me reasons. off that you're going to speak so, for me and what I fucking you think. Me. And you're fucking wrong, but keep going. <sighs> that girl's a good actress in that that came out and now she's in Handmaid's Tale and she's a fucking good actress, but she's a Scientologist. So like, let's Keep leave it alone. talking about the thing you were talking about though. But so, what were we talking about? The mixed race, you and Kristen. Well, I don't so know. Kristen is like, we're watching it, and then I say, let's watch another episode, and she says, "What?" Uh-huh. And I say, let's watch the second episode, yeah. and she's like, "Oh, okay." We watch the second episode. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I look, and out of the corner of my eye, I see that fucking she's watching TikTok a little bit. Uh, okay? That's not good. Fine, watch TikTok a little bit, but you're here with me. We're watching Nucky Johnson. Okay. Okay. Thompson. Second one ends. And I say, dude, I was involved in this show at the end of the first episode. Yeah. <laughs> the second? Now you're way in. I'm yeah. way in. Yeah. Let's watch a third episode. Okay. And she says, I don't know. She's not into it. She's not really. I think maybe I'm going to go to bed. Okay. So she goes to bed. Yeah. But guess what, dude? What? She's not going to bed. She's in bed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's in bed, but her face is glowing. What's that mean? I mean she's I'm a poet, yeah. but she's on. Yeah, but I describe shit differently. Where are you? Are you in, also in bed? Watching I'm watching TV? episode three of fucking Nucky Johnson. So dude. I'm waiting for a problem. So the problem is the next morning we wake up and she says, that show's good. And uh-huh. I say, fuck yeah. yeah. Night falls. And I say, let's watch episode four. I see. And she says, well, you're already past one. And I say, all right, well, let's watch episode three again then, I guess. And she says, nah. And now I'm involved in a show and I got to watch it alone, dude. Yeah, okay. And I'm pissed because we were supposed to have this fucking juncture together. But it's okay to watch stuff alone. I know, this guy but, doesn't then, mind watching stuff but alone. then the next night she comes down and she's like, let's watch something else. And I'm like, oh, you just want to watch now. fucking three episodes of some bullshit? Nah, okay. We finally got to a problem. I'm we- saying maybe it's something that actual interracial couples experience more. Because you're saying if if it's if you guys are any indication being a mixed race couple, okay. Um, I think that text her before when you're alone, text her and be like, "Hey, I wanted to watch this show. I know you're at work. Is that cool? Like, did you want to watch it? If you do, I'll wait for you. That's easy. Just do that. But that's fine. But then he doesn't know when she's falling asleep. She falls asleep, and he's still watching the show, and then he's got to rewatch it. No, when he wakes up and he goes to work, and she goes to work, if she comes back earlier, you catch up, dude. But how about this? 
look over sometimes. You're invested in what the fuck is going on when you're watching Fear Thy Neighbor or whatever the fuck Not show you're watching. that invested. Look over. Once every 20 minutes, dude. Look over. I'm done Problem about this. solved. All right, next one. Hey, Chris and Matt, I need We have a lot of a ginger neighbor. fans. Really don't want to end up on Fear Thy Neighbor, and I feel like I might. Mm. Luckily, I don't live in Atlanta, so <laughs> maybe I'm safe. I don't know. Maybe. Um, husband and I have lived in the house that we're in for eight months. Uh, one of our neighbors, never seen her, never talked to her, don't know what she looks like. So um, one morning, it's like 6.30 a.m., and both my wow. kids are asleep. Husband and I are asleep. There's this crazy loud banging on our door, and I look at the ring camera. No idea who this woman is. Oh, no. She's just got one single crutch, and she's, like, swaying outside. What the Super fuck? weird. Um, at 6.30? And so my husband goes to the door, asks her what she needs, and she tells us that we are sabotaging her sleep schedule <gasps> because we are timing our car alarms to go off every morning at the same time. That's not true. Does it? Well, yeah, no Don't shit. set off our car alarms. She's clearly crazy. Yeah, what way do I crazy. Do? Whoa. What do I do? I love how it ended. What do I do? Um, what do you do? What you do is say this. Okay, I got it. Okay. Say this. Say, if she comes over again and accuses you of that, say, you're on my property. If you come over here and accuse me of something that, I'm, that I've not done ever again, I'll fucking kill you. No. That's, you can't threaten... I mean, she's you on can your if property. You're on your property, and you don't yeah. want it. Yeah. If somebody's being crazy on your property, it's kind of scary. You have you have self defense. Just be like, I'm warning you. If you do this again, you come out here accusing me of shit that I obviously don't do. I'll fucking kill you. And go to bed. Sleep like a baby. <sighs> That's bad. Okay, maybe not kill you. Break your other. She leg rolls or up with her fucking crutch, and she says, "Hey, you're setting your car alarm. That's you're timing. So... You can't even do that, by the way. I know." You're yeah, setting you your, you're timing your car alarms off to go together. Like, why the fuck would she even want that to be happening? Right. Well, to sabotage like, her. But this is how I wake up. My sorry, dude. My alarms don't work. I got to use my car. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I, I man, pay someone man. to bike, bicycle up to my car and throw a brick at the hood. <laughs> Every morning, and then the car alarm goes off. Yeah. Boop, boop. Right. Then, then, man, man, man. Are we all? Yeah. Man. Dude, whoever designed that fucking music song is fucking so foreign. Music song <laughs> is absolutely <clears throat> rolling in it, dude. Yep. I made that. I made that song. That fucking. So, uh, what's your advice when she comes up and she says, "Hey, you're you're scheduling your car alarms to go off." You say, "You're a dragon, right?" Because no, 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 no. Because I'm not done talking, right? I thought you but were. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, now, but she'll say, "I'm a dragon," and she says, "No, I'm not." And I say, "So we're both liars." Or so we're both equally right. Yeah. yeah well, right. but shorten it up, right? No, what I said is better. So we're both it, liars. No, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And then kick her crutch out from under and yeah. watch her stand fine. See, now Because you know she's a liar. Right, yeah. 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 I, I think that honestly, that's... Uh, uh, yeah. You should say... you. I think the, the real thing is you just got to be like, you, you, I'm not doing that. You got to get off my property. <clears throat> right. Yeah. You're coming at me hostile. You're accusing me of something that's not happening. You're on my property. You got to get off. And... And absolutely do not make the mistake of doing it again. Because what you want to do is avoid it in the future. Because she's crazy. She's going to continue to think it. None of it matters what mm, she thinks. Mm. Just you want to stop her from coming over and saying it or ringing your doorbell ever. People are delusional, huh? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Have your husband behind the door on the right when she comes in and says that. Mm -hmm. And then when, and then she says, hello. And she says, yeah, you're timing your, your, your sabotaging my sleep. Have the husband just in earshot say, is that the neighbor again? Mm. That'll be very creepy too and she probably won't come by. She's old though. She probably won't even fucking hear it. Old people can't hear anything. Is she old? I'm assuming if she's got a crutch we, and it's crazy. So now who's assuming? All right, next one. Chris and Matt, what's going on guys? Uh, I just want to say I love you guys. appreciate what you guys do, all the advice you give and Chris, your comedy is hysterical, man. Please come to St. Louis. We need you here. I will. Um, but I got a bit of a question for you guys today. Um, I work for a pool company and some of the pools we clean are really hard to access. Mm. And uh, one pool in particular has a hill in their backyard that we have to go down with our equipment. And it's muddy, it's mulchy, and it's covered in dog shit. Oh. Um, covered. Like it's an unreasonable amount and they won't pick it up. I've left door hangers. I've left voicemails. I've knocked on the door and asked oh. them to specifically pick it up. The guy comes out and he goes, 
yeah, I don't really have time. I have 15 kids, blah, 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 blah. I said, 15 kids? If you have 15 kids, you don't need a dog. Um, <laughs> but I just don't know what to do about it because it gets on my equipment and my shoes. And I, you know, can't really do anything about it. I'm not going to pick up the poop for them. So uh, if you guys got any advice, let me know. Appreciate it. Peace. I do. Uh, I do. Is, it, is it 1860? Because why does he have 15 kids? It's only, <laughs> you only have 15 kids if it's 1860. Also, he's in Utah. Here's my advice. The guy has 15 kids. Put one of them to work to pick up the dog shit. Yeah, that's a really good idea. You 15 of them. What? All I mean, you need honestly, is one out of 15. Put seven of them to work and yeah, pick dude. up the dog shit. Because immediately. Yeah. But also, dude, like if you have a pool guy, I would bet you have a gardener. So right. the gardener should be figuring that out. I mean, the guy, look, it doesn't matter. The guy is being asked to pick up his dog shit because someone who comes to his but house. But it is his house. I know, but he has 15 kids. Yeah, look, it's 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 one of those things where it's like, dude, be a buddy, man. Pick up the fucking, yeah. you're, gonna, you're making me trudge through horse shit. I think, honestly, the move for real is. I, know, I think I know what you're going to say. Yeah, you I do. Agree. The move is yeah. to be out there and just take a fucking shit mm. right where the fucking dog shits are okay, and be there long enough to where the guy comes out mm -hmm. and he says, what are you doing? And then you say, this is the place where you take shit. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. I was so I'm just doing what you'd like me to do. Underst yeah. Because I've really got to go to the bathroom. And the thing I was going to say is pick it, pick it up and put it all in the pool. You're going to get fired. Well, that's maybe a good reason not to do it. Mm. Uh, just shit where the shit is, bro. Now that's disgusting, dude. He wouldn't even care though. He would just let it stay there. Then you got to come back and your avoid your shit as well. It's kind of a lose lose. Just I don't know. Or I hate this pick guy, it up though. and put it on the door, like near the doorway. Right. So he has to clean it up. Right. 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 Yeah. That's rough, dude. I say take a shit where they, you know. <clears throat> I would say like forge a path, like sweep the shit out of the way, hmm. and just create a path for you to be able to walk through that is shitless. And then what? The dogs are going to shit there, and the next time it's going to be there. Maybe. Ew, dude! Doesn't it smell so bad? I don't also, get it. Does, was that an exaggeration? Does this guy have fucking fifteen kids? Dude, if you have fifteen kids, you are just living wrong. You mm. know what I mean? Get snipped, dude. He's religious for sure. Yeah, he is. He's also yeah. in eighteen sixty. Yeah. Which is hard to reason with yeah. someone from that uh, is living one hundred and sixty years before you. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's hard to reason with that. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. All right. Well, we really helped that guy. Go ahead yeah. next. Hi, Matt. Hi, it's a beautiful Chris. hair. I absolutely love you guys. I have been a baby since day one. The cult is diverse. <laughs> yes. um, so I live a pretty <laughs> unconventional life um, as a digital nomad. I have wanted to be a nomad for a very long time. So this is kind of my dream a situation. Nomad? A digital um, nomad? I absolutely love it. Um, I am an accounting consultant um, and I absolutely love that. Um, relationship wise, I have recognized, um, at some point before my digital nomad journey that I'm just <laughs> not cut out for relationships. When I do decide cool. to talk to, um, guys, which isn't often, I usually try to set boundaries right away. I don't want to like lead anyone on or hurt anybody, but I met a guy that I think I might be falling for. I think about him way too much. Huh. And he's just, he's been a total gentleman. Sweet. And I think he really likes me too. So I feel like he wants a relationship and he's a relationship guy. I can tell. And so mm. what do you think? I, I'm thinking that it's probably unsafe to keep talking to him. Because I don't see a situation long-term where we both would be satisfied. Mm. Um, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know either. No, I, don't I guess we'll find it. Uh -oh. All right, see so yeah. Dude, that was Webster. He doesn't know what a digital nomad is either. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is a digital nomad? Chris. What? It's when you work from wherever you are. You oh. know how people like work remotely? Uh, some people do that and they just are always traveling. She was really, really, really pushing that shit. Like she was trying to sell some merch with digital nomad on it. Mm, she should start a podcast called digital nomad. <laughs> All right. Well, look, yeah. Okay. Um, so you travel a lot and uh, you're a digital nomad and that's cool. And you met this dude and you really like him, but you know, sometimes look, here's the deal, dude. Um, sometimes things 
This is so basic, but it's just so true. Things change. You like this guy, and maybe you want to explore something different in your life. You know what I mean? Maybe you want to fucking hang out with this guy. Maybe you want to date. You know he's a relationship type guy, but relationships don't work for you. But guess what, dude? Knocking on your door is change. Open it up. And maybe, just maybe, you will find it fulfilling in your digital nomad life that you might want a relationship. And you'll be a digital stay-at-home mom. The thing uh, just is just to stay open. The thing that bothers me about that people do is they're like, I'm not like that. So that thing that I've never tried and never experienced mm-hmm. and never let happen in one way, in one form or another, mm-hmm. is just not gonna work for me. Like, how mm-hmm. the fuck do you even know? Yep. If you like the guy and he likes you and the relationship is possible on the horizon, uh, don't be like, oh, I'm, I don't get into relationships. Oh, I don't like relationships. Oh, relationships don't work for me. You don't know. You haven't fucking dated this guy before. Give it a shot. At least fucking try. See what happens. My whole thing is just things change, man. Okay, well, you said that. I know, but like- That they, doesn't change. It doesn't change. But it, doesn't change. but it does change. Like you think one way and then another thing happens and then, dude, you never know, you know? You just never know. Give it a shot. Yeah. It might be love, dude. Uh-huh. You know? Uh-huh. Try it out. Let it go. Let it happen. See okay. if you can be happy. See if it works. Give yourself a chance. Give him a chance. Give life a chance. Not Give not love about, a chance. Yeah. Give it all a chance. It's we not, love you. It's not about being giving him a chance. It's about giving yourself a chance, isn't it? Oh, we are saying. No. That was horrible, the way you sang that. Is give him a chance. Completely bastardized it. All right, next one. <clears throat> Thor. One more, so boys. Matt. You look great today, man. Yeah. The outfit on fleek. Hair looks good. Nice. Thank well, you. fleek. I haven't thought of that. In Chris, a long time. you look funky. Yeah. Black, did, we, did we tell that? <laughs> Anyways, today? Uh, for my this question, on this podcast, I don't really consider myself a little bit of a caffeine addict, but um, I have around three cups a day. And if it's not a cup of coffee, I normally get an ice Americano. It really makes my uh, motor go. However, I'm experiencing either one of two things that happen. I crash really hard around like three from like a work day. Or I can't fall asleep. I'm mm. wide awake. Like I feel like my eyes are wide awake while I'm trying Jeez. to sleep. So I've been trying to wind, wind it back down to maybe one cup a day. But I'm so unproductive. I'm sitting here making <laughs> videos for this podcast uh, mm. while I should be working. One would so argue that's I guess my question yep. is what's a happy medium? How many cups are like good for you guys? What do you guys settle with? And how do you avoid that like zigzag of ups and downs or just staying up all night? Thanks. Look, bro, you're my guy. Like, I would hang with this guy. Yeah. But this guy's like, three cups of coffee keeps me fucking awake. One cup of coffee completely, I, I'm too tired all day. How many cups of coffee should I have? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Is this a children's show? Calvin would be like, mm, two. Here's the thing, though. Two. <laughs> There's too much. One isn't enough. Here's something, though, too. If you want to keep it at one, your body will get used to it. Just ride it. Fucking come on. Come on. Ride it out. You know what I mean? Ride it out. Ride it out. Ride it out. Ride it out. But also, if you want to know about me, because since he asked. He did. He did. He asked. I drink a pot of coffee when I wake up. I drink a pot of coffee. A whole pot? I drink a pot of coffee right after that. I drink oh. a pot of coffee throughout the rest of the day, and I'll drink two cups of coffee right before bed, and I will fall the fuck asleep, and it won't matter that I just drank coffee. Really? Yeah. You literally have been complaining about not being able to sleep. It has nothing to do with coffee. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, that's that has to do with anxiety and stress the and Saluting a deep, all. deep disillusionment with the world. And the nine co- pots of coffee I drink all day. And also the nine pots of coffee I drink all day. No, but seriously though, uh, but that's just me. That is very uncommon. Nobody that I know is like that. You drink two cups to find the happy balance is what I think you were saying. Yeah. No, but that, if, the you really, if you want to cut ever. it down in general, your body will readjust to just the one. But he doesn't want to cut it down necessarily. Well, he actually did say yeah. he was trying to cut it down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If you're trying to cut it down, your body will readjust. Just give it a minute. Try two. Try two? Yeah. That's very obvious. Try two. Yeah. Uh, wow. I wish I was with you and I could be like, dude, fucking you're saying too many is three is too many. Is no, no, try two, you fucking idiot. And we would have a good time, dude, laughing and yeah, shit. Yeah, he would laugh. I would love that, dude. He looks like a good guy. He's got good hair. Yep. You know he's blonde. What's up with that? I know. Well, blonde people can't, blonde dudes can't wear leather jackets unless they're brown. But anyway. I have I might have to come around on blonde guys because that guy. No, dude, blonde dudes are very handsome. They're just not sexy 
He was sexy. He was kind of sexy, but if he was brunette, imagine if he was brunette, dude. I don't know. He looked uniquely bond. He had like the Jake Busey thing going on. And I think he looked hot. Jake Busey is not hot, dude. He was like a hot Jake Busey. Okay. Okay. Well, what about fucking Chris Hemsworth, dude? Handsome. Yeah, he kind of looked like Chris Pretty Hemsworth. Pretty sexy. Yeah. Chris Evans. There's an example of a blonde dude that is handsome and just zero sex appeal. Uh-huh. Chris Hemsworth? Do you know what I mean? Chris, no, Chris Evans. Chris Evans isn't blonde. He is blonde. What the he fuck? He was Captain America. About? Captain America's blonde. No, he's blonde. not, dude. He's blonde, yeah. He's brunette. No, he's, not brunette. no he's dirty blonde at best. Trying to gaslight me, dude. He's dirty blonde at best. I'm dude. not standing for it. Pull up a picture Pull of Chris up. Evans. Dude, Chris Evans is fucking a I'm blonde take a guy. Nap when you guys notice he's brunette, wake me he's up. He's got zero. Uh, uh, well, click on one. Click on one. Make it bigger. Well, that's obviously blonde. That that that's honestly that's dyed though. Yeah, he's in a movie. Go to he's, go to go to like a look at him. Brunette. That's yeah, I guess it kind of is, but he's got like a ginger feel to him. Okay, but he's got brunette hair. I guess he kind of does, huh? Yeah. He's blonde. <laughs> he, you know what? He feels he seems blonde. blonde yeah. but he's not. That's yeah. worse, bro. Yeah, to true. actually have the good shit, but seem blonde. Yeah. But imagine if he was blonde. To just seriously, he'd be like, "What's that?" You'd be around him. You'd be like, "What's that noise?" Yeah. You'd be, you'd be, it'd be all the pussy drying up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got to bleep it out. So the guy on the episode, the guy that called in, mm-hmm. is way hotter than Chris Evans, and of he's course, blonde. he's blonde. Of course, yeah. of course. But yeah, two cups. Okay. Okay. Next. Oh, look at that. What's up, Matt? What's up, Chris? Jonathan from Alabama, long time listener. I mean, you're not really right. so hard. So he's, he's not really, no, so not he's from not Alabama. Really it's from wild, Alabama, from Alabama, right? Right. I mean, and it's fine to be there because maybe you've been there for a while. But if you're going to say, I'm from Alabama in that way, clear it up afterwards. Oi. Clear it up where you're really from. Oi, hey, you fucking gun. This is Michael from Mississippi. Hello, I am from. Uh, absolutely anywhere but Russia. <laughs> A fucking Alabama, you can dude. tell, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Okay, so we get it. You live in Alabama. We're having some fun with you, but you look great in your pink lips. Right, sorry. That's a secret edition, special edition that you can't get anymore. And this guy fucking scooped it up, dude. You're All right, color this it. guy's lips though. He's a good guy. Yeah, I like yeah, this. Guy. Yeah. I would immediately hang out with this yeah. guy. Go ahead. Yeah, you Plus, would. Yeah. With my brother, I have an uh, Italian restaurant and. Um, Alabama? That makes sense. All the time together, but he doesn't seem to understand the value of downtime and mm. hobbies and relaxing. Uh, maybe you can give me some advice and tell him how to chill without me sounding preachy. Yeah. Uh, and just how you guys deal with uh, overwork. Yeah. Um, see you September 9 in Atlanta. Live ribs. Hell yeah. You're the this, man, bro. This guy's cool. This guy's cool. Seems like such a sweet dude. It's, um, I actually, I, I sympathize with what he's saying because people that I love that I'm close to that are true workaholics that don't know how to calm down, it makes me anxious. And it makes yeah, me worried me about them because you got to fucking chill out. Otherwise, you're going to die yeah. at 55. Yeah. You know what I mean? So work isn't everything. But the way to convey that to the guy is tricky because maybe he's defensive. Maybe he doesn't have anything he's else He's definitely in his life. defensive. I was talking. Do you know what I mean? I was talking when but you took over me. Right. Go ahead. Uh, and so I think that maybe there's a way to, at first at least, on oops, on your downtime, br- invite him along and don't let don't take no for an answer. You know what I mean? My whole thing about these dudes that just go 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 like for what? You you for what? For more money? For more? F- you're only running from something. That's what I, th- I mean. I think that yeah. they, they can't answer that because the truth is they don't know right. what else to do. They right. don't know how to do it. It's like an addict. It's a, it's akin to being an addict. Yes. I know people who do this and quite frankly, they're awful. They're awful to be around. Why is they're that? Just, they're always working and you're like, oh, I can't hang out with that person. Yeah. It's, they're annoying. They're always talking and saying some bullshit about work. And it's just like, okay. You're not a real person to me. Yeah. I'm not saying that's what your brother is like. I don't know your brother, but there is such value in chill time. If he has a family, I don't know. Well, he obviously has some family. I mean, you're his brother, yeah. but like, yeah, yeah. Invite him along to your shit yep. and say, dude, try this with me. I'm with your brother. I'm your brother. Let's just take a fucking chill day. It, it, Fuck this f- fake Italian restaurant because we're obviously not Italian right, and we're right. in Alabama. We're right. so confused. Right. Let's figure out who we are yep. and let's do this. 
Now, I think that uh, I think that you also could, if you want to, you could say, if you don't want to sound preachy, you could say, dude, I'm just like, I'm a little, I'm not like worried about you, mm. but like it concerns me that you, all you ever want to do is work. All you ever care about is work. Like maybe we could, you could hang out with me. We could do some stuff, this and that, whatever. But like, if you come from a place of concern rather than like, this is how you should live your life. Mm. I think that that's, there's a big difference in that. And someone who's prone to being defensive will get less defensive if you're coming out of a place of concern. Yeah. Or they'll just be like, it's fine. Don't worry. And then you're like, oh, okay. But anyway, let's Yeah, maybe, but I'm just noodles. giving the guy options, all right? Yeah, let's get the noodles from the van then. Okay, well. All right. See you in uh, Atlanta. Chris, Matt, what's up? Love the show. Chris, huge fan of congratulations. Going Hell to your yeah. show in Boston in November. Pumped oh, up for yeah. it. So me and my girlfriend are having a baby boy Whoa! in two weeks. And my question for you guys is, what do you think about godparents? Is it necessary to have them? We're not really religious. So we're not too stressed about it, but a lot of people are asking us. And at this point, it almost seems like a tradition. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we just want to know what you guys think. Do we need to have them? And uh, thank you for everything. Thanks for the show. Life rips. Bye. Bye. Hell yeah. So cute. Wow. Look at that. Interracial couple. Um, so uh, I think that's great. I didn't realize we were watching Peacock TV. That's all. <laughs> well, do you have advice? Uh, you have a kid. I do. You're his godfather. Yeah uh that's nothing really you know so why did you do it because of tradition and i want you to be as close to him as possible because you're my brother and i want if it means something to him l later on in, down the line i want him to have that and i want him to have it with you that's almost beautiful. teared up i think the thing about <laughs> kept it in check i think the thing about godparents is less about religion Man, and more about um like the idea of responsibility in in the parent's absence. If something happened to you, there would be this like um, not legal, not binding responsibility, but spiritual uh, 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 responsibility for your son. I will always look out for Calvin because you, I mean, obviously I would anyway, but you know, the idea of a godparent is if anything were to happen to the actual parent, the godparent will always be there no matter what because you have that person's word, because you love them, and because you're close to them. And what are you doing? I'm not even going to look. Tell me what you're doing right now. It zoomed into my face when you were talking. It was only on me. Oh. Let's get down mind, anxiety. Or? Let's get down anxiety. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I think that, that the I, I think godparent is misleading because people that don't understand or have never done it think it's religious, but it's not. It's not. It's just like this. This like uh, Well, the word God is in it. You know what yeah, I mean? It might as well be fucking. It's very religious. But it's not. To, it's not is religious, it religious to it, you? No. It's just like uh, uh, <laughs> it's just like a, 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 a it's kind of a beautiful thing that parents can do to sort of yes, say without dude. a lot of words, you are sort of like the backup parent. Yeah. Um, backup but parent. Ooh, that's good. Call it backup parent. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But mm -hmm. like, you know, don't feel pressure. But if you feel like doing it, there's someone in your life that you think you'd sort of want to bestow the honor on do it it's fucking valentine's day it's a hallmark shit you know what i mean it's like it means something but it doesn't really mean something unless you die in a plane crash next wow you'll be fine bro you know what it might mean something to the kid so why don't you just do it if you have someone who's obviously clearly going to be the person then just do it yeah right. if yeah. not then if then it's don't. some difficult decision yeah. fuck it yeah hey chris and matt i love what you guys do thank you for all the awesome episodes and um, i hope you can answer my question two months ago i matched with a girl and we have so much in common more than any other girl that i've dated and i've been around the block so that tells me a lot mm. uh, we've been talking on the phone and texting daily i speak russian fluently so that's no issue i have an Italian Here's restaurant in alabama i'm a bitch and i gained feelings for her and so did she uh, she actually asked me if i could come and visit her and seeing as there's a ton of strict sanctions in russia um, I could go there, but that would not be uh, any good for me since my credit card and debit card simply will not work. Mm -hmm. So clearly yeah. that's off the menu. So by the looks of it, I have two options. I stop talking to her or I wait until the war ends and the banking systems go back into play. But honestly, who knows how long that'll be. So what do you recommend I do? Should we try and make this work or should I stop wasting her time? I can tell she wants to keep it going because the second she wakes up, uh, to go to work, she texts me. The second she gets home from work, she calls me. Uh, she sends me photos of her family, her uh, nieces. 
uh, her nephews, uh, her, her mom, her sisters. I mean, we're really close. And uh, so I, I can tell she wants to keep it going, but I, I'm not exactly sure she understands that I probably won't see her for quite a long time, which goes back to me asking myself, should I just end this now and stop wasting her time or, or not? Maybe the answer is obvious and I'm overthinking, but I would love your guys' input. I, so here's, my impression. Don't. here's my impression of this guy right now. You're getting taken for a ride. <laughs> Wait, why? What, what, he's not giving her money or anything. Yeah, yeah, but dude, that's what it's leading to, dude. She's giving him fucking pictures of his her niece and shit like that. It's way too much info. It's way too much info. It's not real, dude. This is this dude right here. He got taken for a ride. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I, I actually didn't even think that. I don't oh, think you I didn't, agree. Dude? She's not asking him for money, dude. Yet, not yet, dude. All because right, well, right now this? it's just like this. I'm going to add a caveat to everything I'm saying. I, 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 if she ever asks you for money, then everything I'm saying flushes down the fucking toilet. But uh, what, what I would say is, came. what I would say is uh, you fucking... Uh, what I don't like, what I don't like is when motherfuckers like take it upon themselves to decide for some woman to be like, oh, you don't know what you're getting into. Like, she's not a fucking adult. She's an adult. She can decide whatever the fuck she wants. If you don't want to keep doing it, then you don't do it. But don't take her agency away from her and be like, you don't know what you're getting into, sweetheart. Trust me. This is a way bigger deal than you realize. I'm going to cut I'm gonna cut the cord now because you don't know what you're getting into. Don't do that. It's not your responsibility. It's your responsibility to look out for you and don't be a fucking piece of shit to her. Now, if she asks you for money, you're getting taken for a ride and you're a fucking idiot. And I can tell you want to say something because you won't stop moving. So go ahead. I, I th thanks, my, is, Was that my... I, hmm. Dude, no. that's him. I think you missed my... Uh, oh. But nothing's happened yet. That's why he's... He's not like, let me out. Yeah, but a lot of guys willfully give women money that they've never met before. Right, and that's fine. But dude, my point is you got to, dude, you have to just, you're get, you're, why can't she, can she come see him? I was going to say, get her the fuck yeah, out of Russia, dude, dude. Get her out of, hey, dude, go away from the war part. Yeah, well, the they're world. not fighting the war. Though, and also yeah. go away, get the people you love away from the war. Mm -hmm, yeah. Why are you wanting to go over there? Yeah, These the guys talk about debit and credit cards. You gotta die, dude. Yeah, don't go to Russia, you fucking My idiot. My question is, here is the deal. I can speak Russian fluently. I love when bullets are whizzing by my head. Sometimes <laughs> I love when bullets hit my head. Um, I would like to go to Russia. Is this a good idea since I am so in love with bullets riddling my body and whizzing by my head and sometimes hitting my head? They're not fighting what do the you guys war think? in Russia. I know, I know, I know. Okay. I get it. But, so, but also, it's a bad idea to go to Russia while Russia is waging a fucking war yeah, dude. on Ukraine and potentially uh, more of the world. Obviously don't do that. Full stop. If she's so fucking into you as well, get her the fuck out of there and have her join you wherever you are in fucking Alabama or wherever you are. Just take the seatbelt off, buddy, and get out. This is a ride one way or another. It is, dude. Also, there's people around you. Hey, guy, look. Yeah. Just go look. outside. She look closer than right there. Yeah. I mean, dude, it couldn't be further. Yeah. Uh, I am on a dating app that is actually intergalactical. Um, <laughs> I met this person who was four foot six, and she is on Pluto. And it's uh, <laughs> it is weird, kind of FaceTiming her because her helmet gets in the way. Uh, I have not seen her full face. Uh, she is green. Her nose is astronomically big, and she has three penises. But those are the females on Pluto. Uh, I want to go out there. I'm not quite sure if my my debit card will work. <laughs> I mean, dude, do you hear yourself? Do me a favor, play this back. <laughs> Don't go to Russia, you fucking idiot. I mean, dude, just stay around where you are and find a sweetheart there. Or have her come to you and yeah, split sure. the fucking pay. True, true. Split the cost. Yeah, true. Split the cost, true. right? Okay. <laughs> The shit? Ah, uh, the shit! Oh, we saw this. Did, did you see this guy before? I don't know. Hey, Matt, Chris. Uh, thanks That's for the, answering my question about yeah. whether I should do the horizontal mambo with my coworker. The, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just to let oh. you know that I didn't try to pursue anything. Nice. But, you know, door's open. 
Oh, this oh. dude, yeah. Um, but I do have a, I have another question for you guys. Now, I got a nice gift when I graduated high school. This was, you know, six, seven years ago. And, you know, it costs a lot of money. But it was a portrait of myself. Whoa. Oh, wow. And my mom didn't want it. My dad didn't uh-huh. want it. Oh, that's a picture? So I just right. put it up in my office. But now I when I, I, I mean, it's mostly ironically, but right, now when yeah. I take Zoom calls. Yep. Well, it doesn't look like you anymore. That's True. over my shoulder. So they'd be like, why is Daniel Tosh behind you? What do you do when someone gives you a gift that you don't want and you can't even pawn it off on somebody? Wow, that's perfect. Yeah. Because this thing, it's got to go. Thanks, guys. Peace. Uh, give it to the coworker that you have a crush on and be like, do you like this? <laughs> do you like the guy in this? You know, and like, e- e- so you don't have to like, you can't be accused of anything crass yeah. or cross at the workplace. Yeah. But you can, if she says no and gets offended, be like, that's not me. And if oh. she says yes, <laughs> be like, okay, so you like this guy and then hold it up next to you and see if she sees a similarity and shit like that. That's hilarious that, that somebody gave you a picture of yourself for you, to, of you that big. And it's a picture, not a painting. That's oh, a photo. Is that a photo. It yeah, like? I guess it was. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, toss it. I mean, get. I'm not sentimental. Fucking get rid of that. Why would toss you ever it. want to keep that? Toss it. Throw it. Rip it up first, so people don't fucking see it in the trash can. Burn it and do like a thing, like ooh, 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 like ooh, cast away. Like, uh, like yeah, cast away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Burn it. All right. You want to burn do it, Sanders? One? Burn it, Sanders. No, not burn it, Sanders. Burn it, I Sanders. Don't, I don't we like can do burn it. Say that. Another because ginger. of that huge fan of the show Bro. saw you in phoenix you absolutely killed yeah. it i'm just gonna tell you um just like you're my friend um so um yeah. i come from a very catholic family pray the rosary oh, go to church uh-oh. every day that type of catholic uh-oh. anyways i um left the church and now there i'm getting go. married nice. and um we are both um do not want to get married in a Catholic church. Yep, there you go. Um, but that has kind of created a lot you of answered drama your question already. and tension in the family where um, people are like, we're not going to go to the wedding because that's a mortal sin to not get married in the church. Wow. Um, so I need your advice. Like, is it even like worth throwing a wedding where like your family will show up and like be kind of, unhappy about it or they won't come and then i'll feel bad or i guess i just i don't know what to do should we just elope Mm. i think Uh, maybe i was gonna say maybe elope because they're not grateful they don't care about you or respect you enough to go to your fucking wedding just because it's not at the catholic church and they let them know that they can be catholic all they want but let them know that the rest of the world finds the catholic church just as synonymous with fucking child molesters and Mm. fucking raping kids than it does with fucking god and priests mm. like they need to get their fucking head checked and realize <laughs> the catholic church is not what they fucking used to remember it as oh well yeah uh, they're old school though yeah but that's why she needs to fucking tell them yeah but also say like if you disrespect me that much and won't even come to my wedding then fuck you i'm going to vegas yeah the fuck yeah yeah elope elope for sure yeah do, do you got to do what you want to do this is a wedding and i know i know a lot, of, a lot of times people think like weddings the wedding is really for everyone else but it's not dude it's for you dude it's a beautiful time in your life you know i just got married and like you get to share that moment with that person and it's a memory that you're going to create with them dude and uh you got to do it yourself you got to do it for yourself don't get married in the church dude don't get married in the church you're gonna fucking talk about resentment you're gonna be resent yeah dude. resentful to your fucking family for pressuring you for doing something that you didn't want to do on a day that's supposed to be your fucking day yeah yeah uh, and you know what? Sometimes I come in and I just hit the fucking truth with the hammer, right? Okay, okay. I mean, sometimes I do jokings and shit, and sometimes I fucking make fun of people, but sometimes I come in and I just fucking hit the truth with the hammer, and that's what you got to do, dude, and that's what's good about me. I think I hit the truth with the hammer before you did. I started hitting the, the word truth. I started and the hitting, verbiage I used. I started that. hitting the truth with the hammer, and then you joined in because you're a follower. I hit the truth with the hammer. You were like kind of like saying the truth, but I hit the truth with the hammer. Nope. The truth with the hammer. I hit it with a sledgehammer. What's going on? Where are we she, at? That, that lady, by the way, yeah, had a fantastic nose. She did, and she also she has some really nice glasses. They remind me of this pair of my glasses. Okay, but I'm being nicer because her nose is actually part of her face, and you're just saying there were <laughs> accessories and shit, so don't take it from me. Okay. I'm saying her nose, that nose is a great nose. Okay, okay. I, I fucking love her nose. Okay, relax. But I'm just saying, though, that's it. Okay, we got another one. <laughs> Hello, Hi, can Matt. I take your Hi, order? Chris. My name's Maddie. <laughs> I'm reaching out for help because... I just got engaged. Yay for yes. And we are getting married in April. And obviously, I'm the girl, so I'm 
planning it and I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't know what matters and I don't know what people actually care about. And what do you, do you have any advice on weddings? What matters? Cause there's so many things that you're supposed to do. Any regrets, any do's or don'ts, um, like flower girls and first, like first look and the garter mm. belt. Like, do you do the flower toss? Like, do we care? Wow. Do we actually care? Did you, you do don't that at your wedding? Care. So that's my question. Also for invites, like if anyone oh, didn't God. make the cut, should I say something? Or do I no. just move on because they didn't no. make it? Same it, with bridal party. Do I say you were so close? I'm so sorry. No. Or just, just no. move on. It's don't not, even so have a bridal thing party. Your friends with. aren't applying for Anyways, Sundays. Anyways, thank you so much. Any advice is helpful. Also, weird side note, I actually know people that were at your wedding. What? Really weird. Whoa. All right. Well, um, anyway, for not exposing you, them. you don't give a shit about yeah, any of the wedding don't things, care. so then don't do any of them. I don't like this thing about like, what am I supposed to do? What does the world think I should do for my wedding? Who the fucking fuck cares? Do whatever the fuck you want. Doesn't matter. A wedding is fucking nothing. Oh wow! It's just a the worst advice of all the time. Wed a wedding, a wedding is just the quickness of going from just <laughs> to the sound <laughs> is so stupid. The wedding look, is just a all right. Look, dude, she, Tourette syndrome. So she, uh, don't. Do, this is my advice. Save whatever of the money you can do it. Mm -hmm. Just don't add shit that you don't want to add because you feel like you should. First you know, of all, period. In general. Second of all, it's just going to, you're, you're going to, that comes out of your pocket. Use that. Use the tips you're getting from waitressing say, yeah. to fucking put in a down payment on a fucking house. We already have a house, but another, whatever the fuck, another you know house. what I mean? <laughs> so, what? Another house. Yeah. Something that is useful. Get a fucking car. Get a jackhammer. Do something with it. Weddings fucking piss me off, dude. The whole thing about the way people are about weddings, the way fucking parents make it about them. Dude, what the fuck? It's deeper. Who the fuck fucking gives a fuck? It's deeper. All right. Yeah, just you save your money, dude. Bo mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. Mm -bop. Save your money. Mm -bop. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good, you guys. We had a great episode. And remember, I'll be in fucking Dallas, Grand Prairie, whatever the fuck. Um, and uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I'll see that guy in the pink, the fucking fake that had the jo the guy from Russia. Pretending to be from Alabama. I'll see him in Alabama or in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Whoops, that's Alabama. But he, no, he said he'd be there in he, Atlanta. Yeah, you're not going to Alabama, are you? I'm going to Atlanta, Georgia, September 9th, Wichita, Can Kansas, Washington, D.C., Stockton, California. I'll be in fucking Raleigh, Rockford, Cheyenne. Boston, Massachusetts, Albany, Lakeland, Florida, and Jackson, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, chrislee.com. You got a question for us? Click the link in the description below or just go straight to watchlifeline.com. And here's the other thing too. Dude, subscribe to Super Cult, the channel. Subscribe to our channel. Leave a fucking uh, message under the comments and uh, absolutely just fucking take that like button out on a date. Uh, thanks guys for listening. Yep. Bye-bye. Thank you. Love you. Love you.